In this video, we are going to engrave text into some sort of shape that's not a solid object. It's not a component, it's not a group. I'm going to start with just making like a big square or cube here. And then I'm going to add in some 3D text. Use your 3D text tool. I'm going to leave these other settings alone for now. Click OK. And the thing to remember here is that we don't want to place the text on the surface. We don't want it to be on the face. We actually want it to be above the face. Okay. I'm going to just scale this down so it fits. And it's now above the surface. So this area here, this object, is not a solid object. There's different individual pieces I can click on. But the text is a group. It is a solid object. It's all linked together. So what I need to do is I need to put this in the location that I want it, in the uh, rectangle, the cube here. And then what I want to do is I want to explode it so that I can join it all together and delete the pieces I don't want. So here's how we do that. We're going to grab our Move tool, and we're going to move this down into the surface. I hit the up arrow on the keyboard when I was moving this up and down so it stays locked on the Z axis. So now that text object, that solid object, is into this surface here. There it is, part of it sticking down. And now what I want to do is I want to explode that. So I'll select the text, right click, explode. Now I'm going to select everything, right click, and I'm going to intersect the faces with the selection intersect the faces with the selection. Now that everything's kind of been joined together, I'm going to use my Select tool, and I'm going to select all this information on top. Again, you want to go with your Select tool up to the left, so we see those dotted lines, as opposed to going down to the right, because that will not give you everything that you want. Bring it up to the left, hit delete, and we now have these parts here. It looks like it's flat, but let's remember <clears throat> we did put them or push them into the surface, so it's already engraved in there. All we need to do is to take our selection tool and to delete those areas that we don't want. Okay. And that's all there is to it. 